Low volume training, two hard sets, close to failure. It's simple, efficient, and brutally effective. I still believe in it completely, but there's a way to make it even better. Not by adding random sets everywhere, but by being strategic, by specializing. Here's the thing, every muscle group does not need equal attention all the time. Most lifters grow perfectly fine on low volume across the board, around four to 10 hard working sets per muscle group per week. But if you've got one to two muscles you really want to bring up, that's where specialization comes in. You train every muscle group with two sets, and you selectively ramp up volume for those one to two target muscles up towards 10 to 15 hard working sets per week. High number of sets, controlled form, full effort. Do that roughly for 10 weeks, then rotate the focus. Your recovery resources are limited. If you try to push high volume for everything, fatigue piles up fast. But with specialization, you're investing that recovery where it pays off most, while keeping the rest of your training productive and sustainable. This is what many science-based lifters, including Jeff Nippard, are now emphasizing. Low volume efficiency as the foundation, targeted volume as a growth accelerator. Here's how I've been structuring it and how you can do the same. Choose one to two muscle groups you want to prioritize. Bump those to 10 to 15 hard sets weekly. Keep everything else around 4 to 10 weekly sets. Run that for around 10 weeks, then switch the focus. That's it. No spreadsheets, no overtraining, just intentional effort where it counts. Low volume training still works incredibly well. I still program two hard working sets for nearly all my exercises. Part of low volume training's effectiveness is its ability to allow you to prioritize certain muscle groups without hitting a wall or plateau. Think of it like a spotlight. Keep the stage dim and shine that light on one area at a time. That's how you grow faster without burning out. So no, low volume training wasn't wrong. It allows for steady progress across the board with the ability to grow specific muscle groups at a faster rate. And specialization gives it that. Comment below which muscle you'd specialize on first and subscribe if you want to see how I build my next phase using this exact setup. Thanks for watching.